fantastic game from Derrick Rose in this one. He is a dynamic scorer, guys. That much we know. And I'll tell you what, his talent was on full display there in the first half. Steve, he is a hard man to keep down, and so far, they've been unable to do it. Okay. Trailblazers trail by six. Taking a look at the Bulls. Up front, Poozer and Noah. Derrick Rose is out there with Jones, and it's Dunleavy in at the three. Miller against Rose. Six to shoot. Robinson passes to Lillard. Let's the free fly. <laughs> Lillard's got the first pass to the second half. That one for the Trailblazers. You know, defensively, you cannot forget about him. He gave him a wide open look there. Pass to Dunleavy. Back to Rose. He passes it to Boozer. Left side, Boozer. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Don't know what I was Boozer's doing there. Nine points. And for Portland, their shooting has just been outstanding tonight. 56% as a team in this game. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. <laughs> and that basketball is going to count. Goaltending the official call. He almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. The Trailblazers have gone 7 of 11 from the line. You know, it's always a challenge adjusting from college to the pro game, particularly when you talk about the size of the NBA big men. When Thomas Robinson struggled his rookie season, he really started to lock into watching tape of another undersized power forward, Mr. Paul Millsap, as a way to try to improve his own game. And so he draws the foul on the shot on trip to the line to shoot two. Back to Thomas Robinson like Millsap, a terrific rebounder in college. He led all big-time NBA prospects in the 2012 draft and overall rebound rate. And that translated to his rookie season, Kevin, where he had problems finishing. You know, rookie field goal percentage of 43%. Well, the Bulls battled in last year's postseason. Got a Game 7 win in Brooklyn to sneak out of Round 1 in what was one of the more interesting series of the first round, but then fell to the Heat in Round 2. Boy, that pass was in the air a long time. Long enough for him to get a finger on it anyway and send it out of bounds. Just over a minute and a half has here in the third quarter. And it's out of bounds as the Portland Trailblazers retain possession. Lillard with it, and Rose picks him up defensively. Aldridge backing in. The nine-foot shot gets hauled in by Noah. Noah's got six rebounds in the game. And for the Bulls, no Rose the whole time, and... They had questions constantly being asked if he would return, but the team came together, Steve, and showed the Bulls aren't just a one-man show. You know, they missed him, though, Kevin, and it was desperately. I, I thought they performed admirably, but they really needed him against the Heat. Uh, they were able to steal game one in that Eastern Conference semifinal matchup, but without him, well, the Bulls just didn't have enough firepower to beat Miami. You know, guys, Portland had one of the worst benches in the history of the league last season. You know, they didn't get much contribution there. It was almost like they went into every game playing five versus 12. A shot by Batum, no good. The Bulls leading by six. Jones drives in, leads him in there, and the dunk by Boozer. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he, he hammered that down, Clark. Superb above the rim action. Well, as Clark was talking about when referring to the Blazers, the bench scoring was a big problem for him as they didn't have anyone really outside the starting five that could oh. be counted on for seven points or more a game. Yeah, look, the NBA game is 48 minutes long. It's tough to, to survive for those full four quarters when you have no offensive punch off the bench. But I, I think this offseason they added a lot of firepower, a lot of uh, scoring in reserve. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Oh, well, God damn it. Or so we're behind the basket. With this break, a look at our two have just passed the top the centers and power forwards over the course of the past ten games. Number one is Joe Kim Noah. 
You think of some of the great passing big men over the years, and they are some of the best players ever. I'm sure that's not lost on him. And he's worked really hard to develop that part of his game, and it's paying off. He's getting better and better. Rose against Lillard. Aldridge. Cannot hit. Great defense that time from Noah. Chicago leading by six. Outside Rose. Back to Boozer. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got his fourth assist in this one. And his stroke has been dead on. Inside, outside, wherever. The shot's just falling for him. It's off his foot. <laughs> and they're saying he kicked the ball. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Kicks it to Batum. The three. Lock it six. And the basket good. Batum's got nine. Well, he's been a real positive factor for them today, although, you know, as a team, they've had a lot of negatives mixed in there as well. Rose goes in. Outside, Jones. But then again, he could pass. Big better. The pass to Lillard. Back to Matthews. A three ball. And the Trailblazers. Another three. Well, there's plenty to like about him as a player, but you know, one thing that really stands out is the quick trigger. He can catch the ball in space, defenders all over him, but you know, in an instant, lets that shot go, and he is accurate. And one more thing to point out about him is what a rugged player he is. How hard he works every game, and he's always back. There's the feed to Lillard. Back to Matthews. Pass to Batum. To Ty. Chicago grabs the miss. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Portland. Well, this was a team they had some problems with last year. As an interconference matchup, they only faced each other twice, but uh, both times they ended up on the wrong end of the score. And as hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan should be simple. What? Get him the ball and get out of the way. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, gentlemen, you recall around draft night, there were rumors that the Cavaliers were willing to trade both the number one and number 19 picks for LaMarcus Aldridge, but they were rebuffed by Portland. And it's easy to see why the Blazers would be reluctant to part with their franchise big man. But with Aldridge expressing unhappiness in Portland over the summer, you wonder if that's a decision they'll live to regret. Kevin? No question, Doris. Everyone's got to be invested and on board. It just doesn't work. And that one's good by Aldridge. Oh, Steve was saying, Clark, I assume that's something you'd have to expect not to happen again this year. True, but we could have said the same thing going into their two meetings last year, Kevin, and we know how that turned out, so we just need to wait and see. Rose kicks to Dunleavy. Back to Rose. Nice shot from the wing. Rose has got 18 points in the game. Trailblazers trail by four. Back to Aldridge. Sinks that one from the post. Aldridge has got four points this quarter. For Chicago, they've gone six and nine from the floor here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. And it's Rose penetrating. He kicks to Jones. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Rose has got assist number seven for him tonight. Good defense, but you gotta love the finish with the finger roll over the top. Lillard dishes to Matthews. Aldridge with a screen on Jones. Go on the captain. That's foul number two for him. The Bulls shooting a stellar 60% since the halftime break. Back to Butler. Outside, Jones. And Chen shot, and Boozer puts it in. Boozer's got 21. The more touches he gets, the more this lead will grow. He has just been unconscious this quarter. Outside Williams, 
Passes to Crab. Wide open look. Carlos Boozer pulls it in. You've got to like what they've been doing down there in the low post part. I do. I love it. Their rebounding has been outstanding. So important in a tight game. Jones, the pass to Butler. Feeds it to Augustine. Noah with a screen for Augustine. Augustine off the pick from Jones. Let's it go with a three. Augustine, no luck. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shot. Come on. Because you know, if you continue to give up open looks like that, that you're in big trouble. Aldridge, covered by Noah. Aldridge kicks to Crab. Five on the clock. Dishes to Williams. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Chicago's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Jimmy Butler was the last pick of the first round back in 2011 by the Bulls. And last season, I tell you what, he really solidified his place in the rotation, guy. He's still developing his outside shot, but he brings an awful lot to light to the table. Williams passes to Crab. Back to Williams. There's the dish to right. There's the triple. The basket is good off the assist from Williams. That's like a layup for him. He's just wide open out there. Chicago leading. And for Jimmy Butler, what a story. Abandoned as a child. Bounced around from home to home. One coach would take him in. Another family would take him in. It was, uh, it was a very tough upbringing down in the Houston area. He overcame tremendous odds. And to be where he is today with the great attitude after a short time at Marquette, it speaks volumes of his character. Well, it sure shows in his play, doesn't it? I mean, just the, the way he hustles and draws fouls, rebounds, defends. He can guard multiple positions out there. You just love his overall game and his toughness and what he brings to this team. Rose attacking. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. You know, last year he turned a really nice performance at the charity strike. Yeah, it really stands out when you look back at the numbers from that one. Yeah, guys, I mean, he's been a very steady hand for them when it comes to his free throw shooting. Lillard with it. 14 points for him. Not loose. Oh, God, yes. Jones kicks to Rose. Oh, look out. Look out oh, 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 oh. Man, he got fancy with that one, didn't he? Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Man, I like that. I mean, some coaches might want to see just a, a sure-handed lay-in, but I say put as much as you can on the finish and get your teammates going. And we've reached the end of the third. Bulls lead by four. From Portland, we're back in a moment. We welcome you back to what has been a good one here as we get into the fourth quarter. All right, we'll take a look now at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Guys, their play close to the hoop has been great all game. And I also like the penetration. I mean, they're getting into the paint and getting a lot of easy hoops from those strong drives. Filling out the wings, it's Matthews and Batum. Robinson and Aldridge down low. And it's Lillard in at the point. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. Wesley Matthews on the wing. Misses the three. And are they ever working inside? Good job on the glass. Excellent job on the glass, Steve. I agree. I mean, they're battling in there. They're fighting. They're scrapping. They're clawing. And they're getting the job done. Dunleavy dishes to Jones. Right side, Boozer. Four on the clock. Near the three-point line. It's Dunleavy. It's hauled in by the Trailblazers. Robinson's got 11 rebounds in the game. Batum attacking Robinson. He dishes it to Matthews. He feeds it to Lillard. In to LaMarcus Aldridge. You know, one of the things we love about Aldridge is his offensive versatility. I mean, he's a big guy. It's obviously a threat in the post, but he's really worked to make himself a threat from the elbows, the edges of that foul lane area, and he's um, quite dangerous there, too. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. That's well, he you, he does not look like the typical big man up there at the line. He has an excellent stroke and a percentage to match. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. 
Hi guys, over that break, I was able to catch the message Tom Thibodeau was giving to his team. He wants them to pick it up and really go for it right now, saying, no time like the present, gentlemen. Embrace it. Embrace the spotlight.